Welcome Friday with Friends crew. Thank you for another uh, for joining us for another show. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you in advance, it's a great show because we got a great guest. Uh, we have Henley Beal of Canaline. Canaline is probably, I would say, one of the most important companies in this industry to date, and it has been for probably about the last five years. No one does anything about packaging. No one does anything without bags. You know, like the, it, it from edibles to flour to hemp to THC. All these companies go through Canaline or some sort of copycat version of Canaline. We don't even talk about those companies. But so we <laughs> today, Henley, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining us on Friday with Friends. That's the name of the show, by the way. So um, please introduce yourself. Tell us about you and your story and your background. And we'll let you to working with Canaline, the nation's leader in cannabis and hemp patch. Awesome. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. I'm happy to be Definitely. here. Um, I was born, I'm Henley Beal. I was born and raised in uh, Annapolis, Maryland, down the street from Baltimore, right in between Baltimore and DC. Um, started smoking cannabis in high school. So I kind of start and kind of knew I wanted to be in the industry early. Um, yeah. Ended up getting a job at Atlantic Hemp Company over on the Eastern shore of Maryland. Worked for them for a few months as an assistant grower and um, marketing like assistant. Um, and ended up meeting a consultant um, through the hemp farm. Where, who actually worked at Canaline. Who, so he hooked me up with a job over here. Um, and yeah, that's where it started. Awesome. Hey, you love it. You love it every day of it, don't you? I do. I really enjoy it. She's not just saying this because this is on camera, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> nah so, it, I love it. It's great. You are the senior sales representative for the company. Uh, you work with com con uh, excuse me, customers all over the country or is your primary focus like here in the DC Baltimore region? Um, it's mainly like the DMV area. I do have some like Southeast states, like like all the Florida, Georgia, like down in there, um, the Carolinas, all the non-legal states, <laughs> like right. barely CBD medical kind of thing. <laughs> um, but I enjoy it. I love it down the there. The land of Delta 8, as they say. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. So uh, so why, how, I, I know that you guys get, places from, I mean, people from all over the country, so they kind of just kind of relegate you to to this region, you know, as a more of a personal touch, like you take care of these people. Like, we know you now. You know, yeah, you're like, exactly. you're, You'll be able to contact me whenever, like, I respond to emails like a day or two, so whenever, or give me a call, anything. Midnight, anything, just call you up, huh? Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time, most of the day. Problems, I got some serious packaging problems at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I need my design changed now. <laughs> <laughs> now, right? <laughs> So which part of your job would you consider uh, your your best yourself best at? And which parts of your job do you get most excited about? Um, I would say I'm best at just talking to people, making them happy. I, I want to do what's best for the customer. I'm like, as a sales rep, you're kind of the customer's like main person who like gets their back, you know what I mean? So I just try to honor that. Um, and my favorite thing is definitely doing custom bags and talking to different kinds of people. We work with black market, gray market, legal markets, medical markets, anything. Um, so we get to talk to pretty much anybody and everybody. So it's awesome to get different perspectives and also see their faces and see what their reactions when they get their custom stuff. Right. A lot of times they like it more than they thought they would. So it's always exciting. That was, that was kind of our thing. We liked it more than we thought it would. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. I was like, on that one, especially. Yeah, that was really, really good. Like, and I was, you know, I'm over here. You were dealing with Larry. And I'm over here like, what is going on? Like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, where are they at? <laughs> he's like, Hilly's all over it. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, sweet. Sounds good to me. Like, Some about China. I'm like, oh, the whole China thing again. Like, everybody's talking China now. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like the way it is, though. Yeah, everything does come from China. Mostly, yeah. I think yours, yeah. Um, your insert cards actually were made in the U.S. So that's the were one they? we got going for us in the U.S. In the USA, baby. That's what I said. <laughs> Cherry blossom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, so Canline has just about every imaginable imaginable product when it comes to the packaging of cannabis flower, concentrates, edibles, tinctures, etc. So, like, talk about a little bit. Like, is what is like the thing that kind of flies up? Is it mostly just bags or? Yeah, bags, um, concentrate concentrate containers, and blisters are probably our main top sellers. For okay. Sure. What's that? That's probably like edibles, con concentrates, of course, and cartridges. Probably most of the things that go in there. Absolutely, and some flour for sure. What about these little tubes that everybody puts the pre rolls in? Like, you sell those too? Oh, yeah, we absolutely have those. We have a few different versions of those. So, we got options. We got glass ones, pop tops, 
some other okay. fresh lid ones. We got variations. So you see, it's funny because I, I, depending on where you are in this industry, like you, like you talked about perspective, like you get to see and absorb information from a totally different angle than most other people. So what is your take? Like, what do you see? Like you see it through these customers, like you see trends, you know, because they're telling you like, hey, this is what our customers are telling me, or this is what we're seeing that people want. And then the, the next thing happens that the conversation happens with you. You know, yeah. what is your perspective on where this whole industry has been over the last couple of years and where do you see it going over the next couple of years? It's definitely changed a lot. Um, like if you look at packaging from back in the day, um, specifically packaging, um, if I'm talking, um, um, it's like mainly, it's just very old school. Like you can see it modernize over the years, um, get more creative, have different effects. Um, like if you're familiar with cookies, they kind of started mm -hmm. a huge trend with um, their, all of their bags, super cool, really vibrant colors, but they also have this soft touch material. It's like a matte material that goes on top of the bag, but it's soft. And mm -hmm. you'll feel that whenever you have a real cookies bag or some other, a lot of people, my customers especially, have been really wanting to do that soft touch and mainly because cookies kind of started that trend. So as bigger companies kind of start doing different things that kind of creates a trend and pulls it through for like probably, a, I'd say a year, year and a half, maybe two, depending on yeah. how big it is. It's about how long trends last in this thing, about a year and a half, yeah. two years. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. And that's old head, you know. So the, these, the, most of these bags are, are like you said, this soft touch bags. Are these just for like flour, like hemp and canvas flour, or the same, the same technology is kind of going to the edible bags soon? Yeah, you could do it with edible bags. You could do it with, I've seen it with boxes. Um, let's see what else. You could do it with pretty much anything except for maybe like the plastic, um, like of the blisters and that kind of thing. So Mylar is going away. Mylar is starting to fade off. We're getting some more like sustainable options, luckily. Like I think everyone's kind of moving towards that sustainability. Uh, okay, that, that's good. Because that, that kind of brings me up to, to one of these questions I got. If I could find it. Oh, there you go. So <laughs> what does the yellow line mean when it says sustainable packaging? You, you offer biodegradable and recyclable bags. To me, those are the same terms. So right. there is, is, there, <laughs> is there a difference? Like explain that to me a little bit. Yeah, so um, we're just trying to kind of cut back the environmental impact that our industry has. It's kind of a huge impact considering packaging is mainly plastics and different non-recyclable materials. Um, so our recyclable bag, it's like recycle code four, I believe. Um, it basically makes it so it's fully recyclable. You can't recycle a bag if it has multiple different kinds of materials, which is how our regular mm -hmm. bags are. They're made of like three different materials with in between the zipper, the lining, and um, the different materials on it. As compared to this fully recyclable bag, um, that one's just made of one single material. It's still waterproof, still um, smell proof, um, has the e easy open child re uh, resistant um, zipper on it, but it's just made of one material. So it helps become fully recyclable. So you can just actually recycle it. As huh. compared to the compostable bag actually will compost and biodegrade into the ground with like dirt and everything. Um, without releasing harmful chemicals or toxic residues. Or you anything. could be camping and just throw this thing out there and know that you can walk away with a clean Yeah, that. exactly. If I, it degrades in two, about two years or less. So Wow. Yeah. Look at you guys all forward thinking and stuff. Like, I know, we're you excited. You with that? Or you're just like, this, you, I, 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 I'm going to go ahead and say you sat in some meeting room and said, you know what, guys? I think that we should come up with these. <laughs> I <laughs> so, would. Man, they kind of, they kind of just popped it out at us. They were like, oh, you guys want this? Here we go. <laughs> so we were like, sweet. And my customers have been wanting it for forever. They've been talking about it for ever since. How much of a premium come with these bags? Like, you know, because as I'm hearing you talking, like, my mind is working. Like, maybe we should think about, we were yeah. thinking about our offers of DA gummies in the next, the, the summer. And like, those bags would probably be perfect for that. You know? Yeah, exactly. It's honestly, when I was looking at the pricing for it, and I've given a few quotes and um, gotten a few runs for some of my other customers, it's not crazy. You can do like minimums of a thousand. That's an MOQ for those, the minimum order quantity. Mm -hmm. um, but at like 5,000 units, it starts to wow. like get wholesale pricing a little bit, um, drop every quantity you go up. So it's not bad. It's still not very different from the Mylar bags. It's just probably like 10 cents more, maybe. Right. 
Mm-hmm. And, you know, and they look so much better. Like, uh, there was a time where I'm like, you know, it seemed like Mylar was just like the, yeah. you know, the top of it this. It looks tacky, exactly. Yeah, it, it does look a little funny. And, and it seems like, you know, it was just it was the peak of technology. But then, like you said, this whole cookie thing happened. And I booed it. Like, first, it was like these little containers. And I'm like, right. this seems silly to me. You know, these containers, we can just put exactly. stuff in there. You know what I mean? So, yes, I, I really like that stuff. So that is nice. Yeah. So the company is more uh then a product company you offer services also so you talked a little bit about you know some of the services you're offering like with the, like the what you did for us you know tell us about like some of the other services that you may offer like you know for, and i'd say like the branding and packaging you helped us get our inserts for our blister packs you know that is that just like the one or two services or is it just like a string of services that you offer We have a bunch of different ones. Um, For design work, we have a few different tiers. Um, If you want a full custom brand um, with different products, we can do that for you. If you just have a logo or a design already made, we can just put that in a template for you for whatever product you want. Um, Depending on what you want design-wise, we can pretty much do anything for you. Um, Packaging, just a design on the side. If you want a design on the side, we have um, three graphic designers on staff in-house that do all of our work and they're mad talented. yeah, I'm actually going to be that. switching over to the design team here soon. Really? Yeah, so I'm looking. Got a great deal with somebody else now, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll, I still got you. Yeah, so Don't I even see. worry about it. I still got you. Everybody got to move up. Well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> what um, do you offer for companies like ours that specialize in retail, and like hemp uh, and cannabis concentrates, like vapes and dabs and things like that? Yeah, so we got a bunch of different um, products for those, and all of these are customizable. Um, We have like shatter wallets, um, different stuff like that, so you can fit your shatter in and kind of give it away. It's not like a full wallet, but it's kind of tinier, but we have those. We have a few plastic versions of those in different shapes. We also have three different um, quality tiers of parchment paper for your shatter or concentrates or anything. Um, We have those concentrate concentrate containers that we just totally revamped. Um, It has clear glass. The bottom of the jar is rounded so you can just scoop it out and so the concentrates don't get stuck in those little corners that you can't reach. Um, And it also has like a lining on the top lid that's um, that high quality non-stick. So it doesn't have that concentrate stick to the top of the lid so you don't lose any. Yeah. Um, And then cartridges, blisters, we got everything. That's what's up. Okay, we haven't had enough conversation, I don't think. I know, I got you, man. Have a <laughs> <laughs> You're on my radar already. Yeah. So, um, what is, you You have this, this uh, what is it called? It's a, uh, where is it? See, I got see my notes are all over the place. Talk about the, the Mission Green Initiative and its purpose. Um, so, we teamed up with Mission Green and St. Ides, uh, St. Ides and us are sponsoring them, kind of helping them raise money. Um, But they're all- St. Ides malt liquor, like what we drank in the 90s. I'm I'm dating myself, but yes, like we were just in your pocket. (laughs) 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 But yeah, they're awesome. Um, They're working to expunge and release um, cannabis, uh, people who are um, serving time for cannabis offenses. Um, their main founder, uh, Weldon Angelos, he actually served 55, or he got 55 years um, for a cannabis offense and got released early, luckily. But he's, so he knows all well about that kind of stuff. But they work for pardons to get for these guys, um, the releases and all that kind of stuff. I think this Weldon guy has worked with some, some artists on this level too, like some bigger artists trying to get this message out. Yeah, I think this is very important. And it's not, you know, I think sometimes people hear this message and they hear, well, they're trying to get minorities out of jail. Uh, that, that could be the case because of where this, you know, war on drugs has been, you know, where it's been targeted over the last 50 years. But I think people need to understand, like every American needs to understand, like, the way the power works, it's not going to stop at our children. You Absolutely. know what I mean? It's exactly. going to keep coming. And you see this happening now with people of all walks of life uh, struggling for rights. We, like last weekend, we've been talking about women's rights a lot and how those are being taken away. 
So, I mean, this is very, very important work. And I, I got to applaud you guys for doing this. Like, this is really, a lot of companies are, especially bigger companies, they don't think about this kind of stuff. Like, oh, yeah, we're trying to get involved with our community, the cannabis community and the culture is just amazing. We want to be, be a part of that, you know? We really are. Wel Weldon's got a great thing going. He was in DC um, for weeks prior to um, Biden actually expunging some of those crimes federally. So, Excellent. yeah, it's killing it. What should everyone know about Caneline that no one knows? Um, fun fact, um, our first client back before I was here, uh, I think like 2005, maybe, maybe before that, I'm not sure, but, um, our first client, our Andy and Arnold, our CEOs worked with them. It was, um, Steven D'Angelo's for Harborside Dispensary really? in Oakland. Yeah. Huh. He's big, big dude now, but, uh, yeah. we, we love that we got to work with him on his original custom packaging for his, with compliance and everything for his dispensary. So that was awesome. We it's actually pretty, have like a little book. Pretty cool. Yeah. Like you see people grow. Like you people come in, they're like they're here, and then their businesses grow too. Like I'm hoping this conversation ends up like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah exactly. we talk about this in 222, and all of a sudden, like they're like, woo! Straight right? up, it just <laughs> shot up. I, you know, I, I, strangely, and I and I and I almost have to say this on camera. I almost have to go to a different state in order to succeed because Maryland taxes the living crap out of people. I don't blame you at all. You know, I, I'm not a fan of how Maryland's setting up their market so far. I hope that every single person on the legislature listens to what I have to say about that because you are driving people out of this state. You are driving good Please. people out of the state. To and they're just, they're just kind of bringing in all those big guys, you know, that's not, that's not what the cannabis industry is about. That's not what our now, is about. We, now. we let that happen, especially now. with federal legalization on its way. We got to be able to work that shit out for sure. But I'm starting to understand moonshiners more now that, you know, like I, I would have lived during that time, but like, oh, this is what they're yeah, going through. Literally, I get it now. Yeah, I'm yes, it. I get it. Like <laughs> I, I make the best spirits in, you know, the Tri-County area, but no, like I don't have exactly. enough money. It's like that craft cannabis, like, come on. Yes, exactly. It's like the same thing, you know? I Literally. Get it. Literally. Here we are, huh? Yeah. A hundred years later, fighting the same fight, just like in a different form. It's like crazy. Yeah, slow progress. <laughs> it oh, oh, it's always slow, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. So we're going to let you out of here. We're, you know, I think I, I could ask some more questions. Honestly, like, <laughs> you, you have a lot to offer. Um, but I want you to, this is the, we always give everybody a chance to give a shameless plug where you kind of promote your company, whether it's yourself, it could be a sale, it could be a new item, something you guys are excited about, a promo code, how you're helping people. You know, it's already talked about that, but you got a minute, man. go ahead and talk about it. Awesome, sounds good. Well, we're on Instagram, uh, can, at canaline, or can, canna underscore line. I'm on Instagram at Henley Beal, H-E-N-L-E-Y-B-E-A-L-L. -L. Um, I'm a psychedelic artist on the side, so if you guys ever need any art, my website's henleybeal.com. And as for Canaline, we're very excited uh, about the sustainable packaging. Hit me up for a quote if you'd like to see our pricing on those. Um, and as for um, another new thing, we just released new ounce jars, the old school kind. Um, they're stash jars for your ounce of weed, but I put some of my artwork on there. So feel free to check those out on our website, canaline.com. And your artwork can be at henleybeal.com? Yep, you got it. Okay. We may have some art needs coming up, so I may call you on a, on a personal basis. Awesome. I got you, man. That's what's up. You know, Sweet. you are promoting the company and still making some money on the side. I love it. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's do, the American do. You see it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Italy, thank you for joining us on Friday with Friends. Thank everyone over there at Canaline for, for being a part of this. Thank you so much. Um, you know, we've been customers for you guys for about uh, four or five years, and hopefully... You know, we're still doing this 10, 15, 20 years from now. So Absolutely. thank you. Thank you for being the, the, the rock in the industry that you guys are. So, yeah, thanks for having me. I love your podcast. Of course. No doubt. If you're willing to do it, we can do it again in a few months. Awesome. Sounds good to me. Thank you so much. You have a great day. You too, man. Thank you. Sweet. Sweet. I love it. You know, this is so good. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. I'll catch you later, man. Yes. I expect to hear from us soon. Absolutely. I'll be ready. All right. Thank you. See you, man.